Hello everyone, I'm Sammy Factor by Dynet, and today we're going to be talking about this beautiful, beautiful piece of software right here, Cheat Engine, the best game hacking tool on the planet at this moment right now. So first I'm going to show you how this works, I'm going to demonstrate me using it to hack Isaac, just a random game, a pretty good game by the way, and after I'm going to talk about how to get it, where to get it, where to download it, and so on. So let's get right into it. This is Cheat Engine, it's, uh, it's, it's, it looks like any other program by the way, but it's not like any other program. It allows you to change values in your favorite PC games, uh, it allows you to do a lot more than that as well. Create your own trainers, speed hack, and so on. Like, you could do almost anything with this thing. But for today, I'm going to show you just the basics of ha hacking the game arenas, okay? So what you usually want to do is, especially in single player games, you're going to want to change values in your game, such as your money, your health, your bombs, your keys in my case. So... I'm just going to demonstrate how this works, and it works on a lot of games, okay? Especially non-online games. This can be used on online games as well, but usually it doesn't work the same way, okay? And there's, there's a difference in what things you can hack. So, how do you do it? You click the little PC icon, and you connect it to the game that you're looking to hack. So in my case, that would be Isaac. Usually it can be identified by the icon, which is the crying little Isaac right here. Let's just connect that. Double-click it. Now Cheat Engine is connected to your game and is ready to inject code, scan for values, and so on. And that is essentially what Cheat Engine does best. It scans for values, finds certain values, and then allows you to change them. So... As you can see, my money right now is at 1. So, very simply, what you are able to do here is just enter the number that you're looking to change, set your value type to all if you don't know much about value types and you're not a programmer, and go for rounded default. Uh, it's just more efficient than extreme. And then that is basically it. That is the exact value search. There are other kinds of searches that you can play around with later that I might get into later. But anyways, just go for exact value for now. First scan. Now this might take a few minutes in certain games, but this is a pretty small, not small game, but a not, not, not very resource intensive one. So it's a pretty fast scan. And as you can see, we came up with... 2 million values, which is kind of the case when you're scanning for a value that's as common as 1. So what you're going to want to do instead of changing 2 million values and crashing the game is you want to narrow down that selection. So you go back into the game and you change that value. In my case, the way I would do that is pick up some of the money. Now my money is at 2. I go back into Cheat Engine. I change the value to 2 and I go to Next to narrow down the selection. That means all the values that have previously been at 1 that are now at 2 will show up in the list right now. And we're down from 2.5 million to 560 values, which is a pretty good progress. So let's just do that again, because changing 500 values, not a good idea. Might crush the game still. So 7. Let's go for that. 7. There you go. So with changing the value twice, I have narrowed down the selection of values to exactly one value. And I can guarantee you, this is our money. So we changed that to 99, which is the maximum money you can have in this game. And as you can see, I now have 99 money. And if I try to pick up more money, uh, I, I, it doesn't increase anymore, as you can see right there. So, and that is essentially how game hacking works using Cheat Engine. Now, Cheat Engine has also some advanced functionality such as trainers. I'm just going to show you that right here. Um, this is a cheat table right here. Instead of seeing values, okay, you can actually have a trainer table. Now, these tables can be downloaded at, in uh, different communities around the internet and they're awesome because they're not exe files so you don't really run the risk of downloading a virus they are extremely efficient in cheating and some aobs they will work for games over many many patches so i highly recommend checking out cheat tables as well which is basically just a trainer for cheat engine now the way obviously the value tables and so on work is here you have the values that you're looking for, that you're scanning for, that's your value list. Uh, you can simply get those into the list below by double-clicking them, or you can just go here and uh, do something with the add to the address to the address list, and that's your address list right here. That's just values that you have saved up to change them, to, to keep track of them, and so on. What you can also do is freeze values. So this will freeze my value right here, 
and we we'll just keep it at 99 forever, essentially. Okay, that's another good thing. If you want unlimited money and you can't go to 9 billion, do that. Just freeze the value. Anyways, so th that's what cheat engine trainers look like. And they are, as I already said, very awesome. Um, in my opinion, a lot better than normal EXE trainers because they they can be edited. You can actually go here into the script and change something if you are so inclined and if you know what you're doing. So it's it's very awesome. The source code is right there. Everything really nice. I like it. Anyways, so what else is there? Uh, how do you get cheat engine? That is a, a good good question. You can go to the link in the description of this video to download it. Really quick, um, some people have had problems when downloading and installing cheat engine because let me just show you this. Um, there are essentially there are two versions of cheat engine that you can download. Um, if you just go to the normal cheat engine website, there will be the installer version. Okay, now the installer version is all good, except the problem is it comes bundled with some software because hey, the people that created this free software, this free thing, they need to make money, right? So they let other people install stuff through their installer. And I don't know, back in the day when I used to install it using the installer, um, it was kind of an opt-out thing. So if you didn't uncheck a certain box, it would install like something like Bing Toolbar or whatever. And that's how they make money. And that's absolutely fair enough. But at the download link in the description at Cheatware, um, there will also be a no-install version of the thing, which is also available at the official website, but pretty well hidden. Um, this will allow you to run Cheat Engine without any installers without, um, you know, getting any software that you potentially don't want onto your computer. Also, the problem with the installer version is that certain antivirus software, such as uh, McAfee, as, as far as I'm aware, that's uh, that's the one that did it for me, uh, it would just automatically delete the, the cheat engine file when I download it, just because it was like, oh, that's potentially unwanted software. You are a little child, I'm going to take the software away from you. So... That was kind of annoying, and the the way I got around that is I uninstalled McAfee, and also I, I got the no-install version. So <laughs> that's just a little comment. But other than that, the software is absolutely awesome. And guys, obviously, the people that made the software, they deserve some money for it, because it is the best one on the planet for this particular purpose, for sure. So they deserve some money. So please support them by uh, maybe just downloading it on a computer that you don't care as much about, um, you know, using the installer just you know it's it's, it's good to, to support people that do good free software always i like that anyways guys that has been cheat engine it also has some advanced functionality as slow such as slowing down games so that's the speed hack function right here as you can see um if you go over here and enable a speed hack you can uh make the game quicker let me just demonstrate that i think it works on this game as well and if you if you pull it down to to under one then it will be slower as you can see right here. I'm very slow right now, which is good because it gives you more time to react to things in online, sh uh, I mean, in, in not in online shooters, but in uh, shooters in general, that is a very good thing. You just get more reaction time, which is awesome, okay? And that is the speed hack function. Now, as for using this in online games, officially um, the developers do not support that at all uh, of Cheat Engine, so, and in my opinion, yeah, it's not very wise to use in online games because a lot of online games will simply ban your account when they detect cheat engine. <laughs> so, uh, being attached to the the, the program, the game program, the ba the game process. So, I, I don't recommend it unless you actually know what you're doing and how and actually know how to get around anti-cheat software. Because at this point, a lot of anti-cheat software know about the most popular game cheating. A program on earth so I do not recommend you try this with online games at all at all please don't please guys <laughs> please don't I don't want you guys to get banned uh, yeah unless you actually know what you're doing um, it's obviously it's it's possible to use it in that way but the original uh, developers of the software a uh, black uh, wait, 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 dark bite I think is his name dark bite yes dark bite um, he does not approve of that absolutely not Anyways, guys, thanks you guys for watching. You can find Cheat Engine at the link in the description. As I've said, there will be the installer and non-installer version of it right there in a zip file for you to download. Thanks you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon on HackerBad.net. Goodbye.